Ah. Hello. We have a game against Old Order Alliance. So, uh, that'll be an interesting shakeup. Don't often get to play against them. Oh, a Treeman Old World Alliance, no less. With, uh, what have we got here? Tree, Halfling, Dwarf, 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 Slayer, Dwarf, all the Dwarfs. A Blitzer, okay, so I think he's got all the bits that you want. Max Miller, that name sounds familiar, but it probably isn't. Alright, do we have the higher team value? It looks that way. We had like 11, yeah, we got 1185. He doesn't have a ton of skills, so he's got, uh, Dauntless or, <laughs> who knew? Uh, they come with Dauntless. I don't know why I said Dauntless. Stand firm. Okay, so he's gone stand firm. We went Juggernaut first. Save pair of hands on the halfling ball carrier, maybe? Catcher with a plus movement. Okay, nice. Uh, movement bust. Block lineman. That's a movement bust. Uh, bust lineman. Throw no blitzer? That's the blitzer. Okay, yeah, he's got a blitzer. And then a tree has... Doesn't he come with grab? Do they not? Do I guess they don't. Okay, only giving away 25k. So, uh, yeah, nothing uh, immediately noticeable about this. Um, what do we go on first? I guess offense. Seems like a solid plan. Okay, so he's got he's got twelve players as well, whereas we do not, and he has a reroll. So we're certainly pretty pretty well matched in that sense. The doors come with Lona, right? Is that right? Yeah, they do. That's quite painful. Lona and no block. You're really just getting them for the AV. I mean, Thick Skull's not bad as well. Obviously, it's not amazing, because otherwise you'd pick on everybody. I kind of like his black and white kit here. It's pretty stylish, looking at that Blitzer there. Or whatever he is. He might just be a lineman. What does the Blitzer look like? There's the thrower. Okay, Blitzer looks, honestly, pretty similar, except he's got a... Hammer for a hand. That looks like a special item. So one thing we know is this guy plays a decent amount because he's mixed up his... He's got, got some items. Alright, so this is kind of what we expected. I think what we're going to do is just going to put the guard in the middle so that we can block inwards with our uh, lineman. Really need to sort out my stuff here so that I don't keep doing that. But we don't want to get too many guys attached to the guard, so... Um, you should come back. What do we want to hit? Guess we kind of want to hit the one that's not looking so impressive. Uh... Oh, should we get over? You can go over there. You can come over here. You can come here. You can go there. Alright. I think I'm overall reasonably happy with that. Ah, uh, puts all our guard on one side. I should have switched those guards over. Very nice deep kick there, but I mean, that's kind of okay, I think. So let's get right in there. 
and get the hits rolling. If we can. Oh, that works. That's why we went this side rather than this side. Instant payoff. If we had if we'd done the hit on the other side, we wouldn't have rolled that, so. Excellent decision there, if you or you know, excellent result I should say. Not sure it's entirely fair to call it a decision. Uh, let's shore up this side, because obviously he's going to want to attack there on this side. That should make it a bit more tricky, especially if we put this guy up here. Doesn't he have to go quite a ways around the outside? Digging it. Can't follow it there. And there we go. That leaves a bit of a hole, unfortunately. I mean, we're dwarfs, so we're never going to pick up the ball before we've made that block. But obviously that's that's not paid off here. But you know, there are arguably worse times to roll dub skulls. Could now try and force a way through here and get some pressure in our backfield, which obviously as dwarfs is never what you want. Especially seeing as we moved our secondary runner up, but we'll see how he plays it. Oh, is that take root failed immediately? Is he going to re-roll it? He does re-roll it and fails it. So that's a that's a great start. The fact that he's <clears throat> smashed our guy down isn't as great, but he's he's okay in that sense. So now we can just attempt to avoid the tree. But yeah, he's got a big root through here now. So I think he's going to try and push his way probably through the Slayer would be my guess. Where's his catcher? Is his catcher on the bench? Oh, he is. Okay. Oh, he rolled dub skulls as well. And he drops in the reroll. That's a that's a really bad first turn for him. I don't think I'd have rerolled the take root. I mean, I get it, but for one thing, you gotta you gotta hit Lona, and for another thing, it's not great, but it's not necessarily the end of the world. Halfling Foul. That's an interesting choice as well. I don't know if we actually want to stand that guy up. It's given us a surf potential here, but we've got no guard on that side, which is obviously pretty bad on my behalf. If I were to go here... Oh, I can't go there. Can I? No, I have to dodge. Just trying to work out how I can... get some of these guys off. I suppose if I move this guy across I can. Let's, just to be safe, cover this a bit, seeing as this is where the main pressure is. Where is the Slayer? He's back there, okay. Then we can do a bit of this. Very nice. I'll take that. Drop back. Drop our guard across as well. See if we can pick up this ball. We can, so we can now move up. And... See if we can get away from the tree. Oh, we can. Nice. 
He'll probably push us back onto the tree with one of these. He'll probably move, like, blitz this guy back onto the tree. But. Oh boy. Double rushing for that. But why? Oh, he wants to foul him, I guess. But he still could have just blitzed with this guy. So I do not understand that at all. Foul doesn't work. It means we get a hit on the Slayer. Which I'm not going to turn down. That won't help, because this guy can move up and around. Could even take a hit on both guys, actually. He's not going to pressure on this side. I think that might be the plan as of right now. <laughs> Guess we're probably at our stadium here. Alright, so yeah, I think we'll do this. Very nice. Uh, he has block, so we will knock him over. Probably won't stand for him here. Don't really want to get close to the tree. Nothing doing there. I'm digging that. Yeah, let's follow that one. Then we can kind of make our way in this di general direction. Seeing as all our guards over here anyway. Yeah, we'll get you here. You here. Sorry, now I've got tendency to just keep saying you here over and over again. Drop you in behind. Put you in here, see if we can get away from this guy. Oh, we can. Very nice. I mean, the fact that our dodges are going so well is amazing. And we're off the tree again for the moment. That's a bad result for him. I mean, the good news about the tree for him is he's a very much a pivot point. There's not really a lot showing that he's, like, rooted, is there? Kind of nice if it would show that a bit better. Yeah, I don't... I, I literally... Don't think there is a way to tell that he's being rooted. If there is, it's not obvious. Is, does he have, like, is there some kind of... Maybe those, um, uh, maybe... Yeah, I think it's that. So there are kind of like root roots wrapped around his legs. So I, I suppose you can tell. As it happens. I think 
we probably send the splits around the side if we can. Give us a chance to close in over the top, we'll see. I guess we could mark up his blitz. Uh, no, there's no real, no real point to that. Oh, this is what we should do. I think this is a sensible play. Because then, if this is a push, which it's not, it's okay. Because we get to make another hit. One, two, three, four. That would be our full move there. Which I guess it's okay. I really want to use the mighty blow, but... Maybe we do this. E. okay, that one I'm not so cool with. Well. Hmm, bit of danger on the ball here. That's our sixth, well oh, that's our third double skull. So I suppose in that sense, bit, bit unlucky here really. Could I have left that? I don't... I could have done, probably. I could have also moved this runner up, but I, I wanted to kind of have the option to move him later, but yeah. Maybe having moved this guy up, we could have just let that one go. It's hard to, hard to let that go, though. Positionally, we are being a bit slow here, actually. So that was a bit of a disaster, in fairness. Felt like he could have <clears throat> knocked somebody over and come through, but maybe he couldn't. Two stuns here as well. Pretty, we managed to stun ourselves there. So, <clears throat> two best players here. Not doing a whole lot. Problematic, for sure. Not feeling as confident about this half as I was now. Okay, well that gives me an idea. It's got to be done. Ball is still sort of semi safe, so. Oh, that works. Actually, this isn't totally safe because he can. He can hit something there to get through on us, actually. Uh, let's see, so I think we want to do... ...this. As our blitz. Oh, that guy has an injury that I hadn't noticed.
So we're not as safe as I'd like here, but at some point you got to try and move. Problem is he's obviously got the far more mobile team than us, so puts us in a tricky spot here. Especially seeing so many of our players are on the floor. The uh the uh, sequ sequence of many skulls has definitely caused us some big issues here. So that is uh, a touch, touch problematic. Guess the fact that his blitz is based here is nice. Looks like he's going to block this, which is, you know, two players over here instead of coming over here. I'll take that as well. All our guard being over here is, yeah, I mean, that's, it's a big problem. I don't think we can come back this way now. I think we have to commit over here, unfortunately. Not that it's going to go particularly well, but... Um... Hmm... Hmm... Tricky. So I suppose we're just looking at this. And then this, maybe? And this. Got to move. Got to give ourselves a chance to score in, right? Boy, our inability to push people through. I mean, I know we knocked him over, so I can't really complain. I think I just have to get that guy up. I have to try. Don't skull me again. Wow. That's our fourth double skull for the game. For the half. It's, uh, that's made things more scary. I mean, I'd have taken a, a push there. Honestly, just anything other than the skull, but it, it was a sense... I, I feel like it was a sensible block to make. We're playing dwarfs. Um, could have helped clear some, clear some space. I mean, we're technically in range <clears> of <throat> GFIs. Jimmy's going to blitz the Slayer. The fact that we use that reroll is so bad. I 
He just put him here. Oh, put him there. Stun doesn't help our cause one bit, and that's the Blitzer as well. Yeah, we're definitely in a pickle now. But I think it's it's mostly a pickle not of our own making. If we don't score, we don't score. So I have to hope that he doesn't find a way to score. He's, he's fouling like that guy is sneaky, but he's not. Can't even knock that guy down. Um, stay. You get up. Uh oh. I've had to freeze. Let's try and do things too quickly. <clears throat> you see this? The frame rate slowed down, that's because I um, temporarily pulled out of the game in the hopes it would free things up, but it hasn't yet. <clears throat> Always unfortunate when this happens, just gotta hope it never happens when our time is getting close at the end of a game. So we've blocked this guy down, this guy comes through for what that's worth. Hang on. Oh, it's this. I have to... Do I? Um... No. Okay. I thought I hadn't done the wheel, but it's... It's not that. It's that it's got stuck here. It's going to eat up some time. Hopefully it's not going to long-term crash our game there. I'm sorry about this. There is uh, nothing I can do. I don't think. Change kits. It's very odd. So it's just the on pitch activation I can't do. Probably wondering why I'm wasting so much time. Minimize again, see if that helps. Doesn't seem to. But you never know. 
usually eventually it comes back. Come on, game. This is a particularly bad one. Uh, I mean, we could... Oh, I thought for a minute I was going to let us do something. Um, could try and just close the game without, like, end task on it and try and come back. I guess if we get down to like three minutes, maybe we'll try that because nothing else is obviously working here. Okay. Tried the on pause. Nope. I do not want to forfeit the game. But this is a pretty bad crash. Maybe if we get end four minutes, we'll do it. Yeah, this one, this one's real bad. It's gonna not press anything for it until we get to four, just to see if it. Works itself out. Maybe overstimulating it is being a problem. I, d I don't know anymore. Alright, let's see. Yep, still can't move. Okay, so we're going to try a desperate, uh, desperate measures here. Uh, so don't worry about the game disappearing. Football three and task. I mean, you can worry about it, because obviously it's pretty bad. I mean, we might get in and it might put us in the same place. Or we might just have lost that game, which... I mean, maybe it was going to happen anyway, who can say? Come on, let us back in. Alright. Okay, we can do things. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, the the good the good thing about that is nothing was going to succeed, so it didn't matter what we did. The bad thing is that's our effectively our fifth double skull now. I know one of them was spread across two dice, but it was still a double skull. Oh, I thought it was going to land back there. That would have been great. Okay, that's... <clears throat> that's okay. She does have a thrower. Where's this halfling? This halfling's not next to the tree yet, so that's good. But if you can get it to him, he can try and throw him next turn. Hmm. 
got to say it's been a pretty disastrous half. If we concede as well, that's truly disastrous. If we don't concede, I will accept that. As, um... <clears throat> better than it could be. I think, regardless of what team you are, if you're, if you're, if you're making that kind of... If you're having those kind of block problems, you're, you're in trouble, right? Yeah, this is now a, a definitive worry. Oh, he's getting another potential down here as well. Getting some options. Well, I think we're going to try and blitz the halfling. Oh, never mind, he doesn't seem to be going for the halfling. Well, let's make sure that... Well, the tree can't move. So that's... The, the tree is somewhat sorted. Obviously, we could try and surf this guy, but that's... We really need to try and stop him scoring, ideally. Um, I think we still try and hit the halfling. Well, now I can't even get to this guy. Well, this guy could, but this guy really needs to be marking up over here. is now a problem. What a disastrous half here, eh? Um... Suppose we could do this. Then we could do this. Then we could try this. <sighs> well, he's got a route to score, that's for sure. He's got some options here. It's not guaranteed, but... I mean, if ever there was a time for somebody to score an outrageous touchdown, it's now. Human throws are pretty good, right? 3 plus, okay. Not They're not crazy, they're just normal. Maybe it's human... Because this is an old world human... Like, what's it called? Yeah, he's an old world human thrower, so that might actually be different. So he's got his path. Not a ton I think I could have done about that. Oh, hang on. He doesn't have a path through there without dodging. So will he take on this block? Will he dodge? Or will he go around here? Let's go around there. Sweet. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a tough one, honestly. I hate to say it, but 0-0 zero, zero is, a, is a good result from our perspective there. Um, I have to be 
a blitzer. Let's go with that. So it's 11 on 11, he's down a lineman, which isn't a big deal for him. Because he's not actually down a player, he's just down a lineman. And he probably would have been off anyway to get his catcher on, so... It's no big deal to him. Is he going to try and score fast and then defend, or is he going to try and stall this out? Um, what would I do in circumstances? That's a tricky one, honestly. I don't think I'd try and score crazy fast. But I might try and score in a few turns. Like, I might not be worried. If I, if I had to go in, I'd rather go in and have the potential of a draw if I had to go in after, like, three turns. If he can get to four or five turns, then he has, he can feel pretty good about his chances of uh, not getting counter scored on. In fairness, so there is that. It's an interesting setup here. Okay, that's more more aggressive. Solid defense. So we get five players to move. So let's move our guard guys. One, two, three. And I guess our blitzer. Uh, we can move you in here. You in. Hmm. Maybe you actually stay over here. Do we just throw them both in? I think we do. All in. Oh, he got the ball, that's not great. <clears throat> that gives him some speed. Some extra speed. Is he going to try and push this side? He might do. I mean, theoretically, we should be able to knock one or two of these guys down and then bring somebody back across. But we'll see. It's it's quite a commitment, but it felt like to make this scary, it kind of had to be a commitment. So is he going to bring somebody down here to make this a two dice? Yes, he is. Okay, that's nice, because I was a bit worried about that guy coming around the corner. Got to push that. Oh, he's got Brawler. Oh, so good. They come with that automatically? They do. Very nice. Very solid counter skill if you can't get the other one. Oh, has he got block? He doesn't. Is he going to brawler it? That's very risky. Wow. That could have been turnover there. I mean, I don't, I don't even think that's sensible. I mean, you could say it's brave, but I don't even feel like it's sensible. Okay, so that's kind of... I mean, you can blitz this guy, I suppose. Yeah. Not following up to get the two dice on the blitzer? He is, okay. gonna have to bring another guy in if he wants to get good hits here. Is he willing to take a one dice? Probably. 
It'll probably work. Okay, okay, that does get him a two dice there actually, which will help over here. Oh, and he's bringing in the assist there as well. So very much all ending our front line here. And dropping in the reroll. Right, he's not afraid of using his rerolls early, but... I mean, in fairness, last half that kind of worked out for him, so. Okay. There we go. See, do we I think we try and hit that guy? So this guy's just getting up. I think we'll bring this guy this way just to help out. And I mark this guy up here. Uh let's see. Bring the slayer over to here, I think. This guy back one. But it has some defensive coverage. Get this guy up. Just a push. Guess it's fine. We'll stay. That is fine too. We'll just leave him where he is. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Having everybody attached on our end is, is worrying, but it's also sort of what we want. Okay, so it looks like he's maybe going to try and blitz the Slayer with somebody? Because just marking him up is... yeah, he is. Okay. I'll take that. Doesn't really advance his cause any, which is good. In theory, it should get harder and harder for him to actually knock our players down. So I'd like to think that we could swing it back the other way this time. He's going to have to keep committing players to get hits. So you can stand this guy up, move that guy over there, get two dice on the guard. Gets him, unfortunately. Don't think he's going to follow. No, he's not. He's got a one dice here. I think he's down to one dices now. Okay, going for the dodge off. Oh, that's the catcher. Oh, that's the catcher. I thought this was the movement busted guy. It's the move up guy. Alright, so you go up here. I think we're just going to send somebody back on him. But not on him. Alright, and then... Probably what he's going to do is going to depend on how well our turn goes. Wish this guy had guard. Uh, alright. 
This guy should be here, I just realized. Terrible. Um, does he have? He doesn't. Is that an empty square? It is. Technically got a one dice if we were willing to do two rushes. Which maybe we are. Does that help anything? No. We should probably go for this. It's going to bobble somewhere bad, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is... This is just terrible over here. That If this guy was here, I get a two dice. That's just... Bad play. Um, okay. Oh, that's great. Ooh, that's a long way around. <laughs> Um, nice. We pushed our luck there, but it mostly worked out. This could be so much... Like, if I had done that, could have two dice this guy, and suddenly he's got nothing here, whereas now he can two dice there. Well... Make it one... Oh yeah, the guard actually does kind of help there. Could two... Two dice that... Bring this guy... Yeah, okay. It's sort of... It's sort of okay. Did he stun our guard? He did. As per usual, all our, all our guards are in the wrong place. It's very tricky to get them where you want them sometimes. This is this is tricky for him though, I think. I think he's got two dice here. Yep, catch is coming back. Okay, now he's got two dice there as well. Or unless he I don't know, we'll see what he wants to do. Obviously he needs to hit this Slayer. I don't know if he's going to, but he needs to, because otherwise we uh, could potentially surf that guy. Is he bobbling the ball? Bobbling the ball. Probably should follow. But then that's only a one dice now. Oh, that did not pay off. It was a weird bobble. When your when your guy is down. Okay, well that worked out for him. Talk about getting risky now, that's a I guess this might mean he can make a blitz across the top. Yeah he can. Kinda had to re-roll that. Okay, that's a great result for him, actually. That's not. Oh, 
injury as well. There's a lot going on there. Okay, so we gotta bring this guy up. Uh, hmm. I think we have to go this way. Always the way, isn't it? When you want to surf somebody, you can't surf them. Put them in an awkward position there. This isn't great. What can we do about that? Not fun, honestly. Finally got a hit on the halfling. Which is fine, of course. Um... Hmm. Could try blitzing this. He's got block though, this guy doesn't have block. But... Hmm, yeah, maybe... But he's totally just going to two dice that, and then this guy's going to be up in our face. Maybe I should have made this the blitz and brought this guy back. If we could do this, this would be amazing. Fifty-fifty. No, it's not fifty-fifty. It's a seventy-five percent there. And then we get to make the two dice here. We get to blitz this guy. Come around. Two dice blitz that guy. Come around. Make two dice here. Like that's that's a really good potential there. Bit unlucky, honestly. But yeah, now he's going to come blitz us. Oh, that's not what he needed. Hey, he started rolling skulls more as well. That is not the time to concede, because he could have forced us to score there, I think. That's a, that's a weird decision. Did we get our result there? We were a 733. I don't know if that happened because we were logged out. Yeah, it did. Okay. So Blitz got man of the match. I mean, I think he was still in that. I think... I mean, I think there's a... It's risky, but... Maybe his bet best option it's hard to see it in the moment because you want to get the you know if you get the ball down maybe you can do something but if he had just stood us up forced us to like maybe blitz him off and run in or to dodge off i mean we can't we obviously can't wait another turn because then he's much closer then he's still got three or four turns to score and you know a good chance so i think I think overall that was, you know, either way, like, the game wasn't over there, for sure. I mean, he can, he can one turn, so why, why quit? It's not, I, I don't feel like he really had any worse luck than we did. I mean, as a reminder, we had five double skulls in the first half, so. Hey. That was that was good though. We we hung in there despite you know despite how poorly the first half went, and uh, you know we got got something out of it. Uh, 
anyway, I'll stop going on about that now. Um, we can probably do something. You can't level up. You can maybe get a skill now? No. <clears throat> no, okay, you cannot. Because you already have your blitzer, so you already have two skills. Never mind. And we don't still don't have any lime on it. It's weird the way it's our SVP is going, but hey. Alright. Oh hey, Sighting Rick. Uh it's good good fleeting hello because I am uh, I'm off as well. Hope you're hope you're doing well. We are eight three three. I suppose technically advancing towards diamond for whatever that is worth. Um but yeah, hope you're doing well. Hopefully I can drop into one of your streams soon. Um but we just finished a match. Yeah. It, it ain't bad. I'm happy with it. How are you doing? Um, let me finish off that. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll just leave it rolling for a minute because that was a short game there. Ish. What are you playing this season? I don't think I've managed to catch what you're doing. 4-3-1 Skaven. Okay, nice. That's a solid record as well there. But yeah. Um, good to catch you. I will try and drop into one of your streams soon. And, um, but yeah, you caught me right on the tail end. So I'm, I'm about to, uh, head off. I will catch you soon. I'll catch everybody else soon. Uh, until then, have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye for now, everybody. Yeah, see you soon.